And then, <gasps> the ghost jumped out! Woo! <laughs> oh, hmm? there are little bumps on your skin! Oh. <laughs> you look like a plucked goose! Ooh. Uh, That's called oh. goosebumps! I'll explain it to you! Let knowledge click! Like Woofoo oh. said, Goosebumps Ooh. are named after the goose skin, oh. which has tiny oh. bumps where the feather were plugged. Goosebumps are the natural reaction of our body when we feel cold, scared, or very excited. Under our skin are hair follicles with little muscles at the bottom oh. called the erector pili. Oh. When the muscles tighten, they pull the hairs up and make small bumps, just like a goose skin. A long time ago, our ancestors had a lot more hair on their bodies. When we get cold, the brain sends out a chemical called adrenaline. It makes the erectopilly muscle tighten and lift the hairs. The raised hair trap air close to the skin and keep the body warm by stopping heat from going out. <laughs> When we are scared or very emotional, the same thing happens. Our body thinks we need to react. The raised hair make people look bigger and scarier to chase away danger. It's like when a cat pops up its fur, right Dr. Hoop? <laughs> That's right! Now we have oh. tiny hairs, so Goosebumps don't keep us warm or scare others. But it's still a fun and interesting part of our body. <laughs> Here's a question for you. Why do we get Goosebumps? A. To turn into a real goose. B. To keep warm and for self-defense. C. Because it feels like ants crawling on your skin. B. It's a natural reaction of the body to keep us warm and to scare away enemies. You got it right. <laughs> That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. Ow! <laughs> Sneeze. Want to know huh? why you sneeze? Ooh. Yes. Let knowledge clear. <laughs> Ooh. Our breathing system has the nose, throat, windpipe, and lungs. When we breathe, air goes in through the nose and down to the lungs to give us oxygen. But the nose cleans the air and stop dust, pollen germs from getting into our body. When the nose detects something strange, its sensory cells send a signal to the brain. The brain then quickly tells the muzzle in the nose and mouth to squeeze hard, pushing air out and carrying the harmful stuff away. When the nose detects something strange, your body reacts by sneezing to push them out. But if you sneeze a lot along with a runny nose, cough, or a mild fever, it could be a sign that you're catching a cold, the flu, or having an allergy. Your body keeps sneezing to get rid of the bacteria, try to attack through your nose and breathing system. If that happens, cleanse your nose, take medicine, and cover your sneeze to keep the germs from spreading. Anymore. Don't hold it, your cough, sweetie. It's okay to let it out. <coughs> I'll explain why, kid. Let knowledge click. When something bothers your throat, like dust, smoke, 
germs, or mucus. The brain gets the signal and tells a little flap in your throat to close. Then your chest and belly muscle push air out super fast. That helps clear out the bad stuff and keeps your lungs and throat clean. But if you hold in your cough, the dirt and germs can get stuck inside and make you sick. And if you hold it too long, the trapped air can even hurt parts inside your body. Remember, when you need to cough, you can cover your mouth with a tissue, then throw it in the trash. Hmm. Oh. What if I need to cough but don't have a tissue? Huh? Can you guess? What should you do if there's no tissue when you need to cough? A. Hold it in and try not to cough. B. Cough into your elbow. C. Shout so everyone knows you're about to cough and runs away. Hmm. Huh? Cough into your elbow. We should cough into our elbows, not our bare hands. So we don't spread germs. Let's try it. If you keep coughing for days, tell an adult so they can take you to the doctor. Yes! <laughs> to us. Maybe we're sick. We need to quarantine. Oh. Oh. You're just yawning. Oh. Not sick at all. Take those off. I'll explain. Let knowledge flip. Yawning is when your body opens your mouth to take in air. Oh. Like opening a window to freshen up your brain. Wait. There's a room inside our pit. <laughs> oh. When you study or think a lot, your brain gets tired. It needs more air to cool down. So it sends a yawn signal, and your mouth opens wide to let in a big breath. Yawning also brings more blood to your huh. brain when you're sleepy or tired which helps you feel more awake. Wow! <laughs> Yawning is like a leader alarm for your body. Hmm. You might yawn when you're overworked <sighs> or when you didn't sleep enough. Hmm. That means it's time to rest. <sighs> And sometimes, you yawn just because you're bored. And when you see someone else yawn, you might yawn too. Mm, so, what if we yawn but it's not bedtime yet? You can stand up, drink some water, or walk around a bit. It help you feel more awake. And remember, if you yawn in public, hmm. cover your mouth oh. to be polite. <laughs> we got it. You shouldn't oh. drink that much mm. water all at once, would you? Do you know why we shouldn't do that? Let knowledge click! Water is a very important part of our bodies. Water makes up about 60 to 65% of a child's body. Water helps cool down our body and lower the temperature oh, when we mm. get too hot. Water also delivers nutrients to our organs and helps the body work properly. 
water helps them join more easily. Like oil helps the machine run smoothly. When we drink water, it goes into the stomach and then go down to the small intestine. From there, water gets absorbed into the blood vessels and then goes straight to the kidneys. The kidneys work like the body's filter, removing extra waste. When there's too much water, they had to work much harder to keep up. That's going to make you need to pee a lot. No! Oh no! If your kidneys get overwhelmed, your body will try to get rid of the extra water in other ways, which can make you feel nauseous. We shouldn't drink too much water at once. It's better to sip it throughout the day. Each person should drink about 5 to 8 glasses of water a day, which is around 1.5 to 2 liters. Oh, I got it! Oh no! <laughs> Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel!